Frank Santos from Vanco. Good to have you on board, buddy. I'm gonna turn it on over to you. Um, I'll be here as a host and I can interject. Uh, if somebody's got a, you know, a super important question, I'll be, I'll be seeing it here and we'll be able to uh, get Frank to kind of identify all of our, our needs today. So with that, Frank Santos, Vanco, thank you guys so much. Yep. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate it. Appreciate uh, you having me on board here. Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, as I was telling Gary, we've obviously been very, very busy with all these webinars and with everyone standing at home. It's, it's, it's a great time to learn about something. So as Gary said, you know, if you guys are very familiar with Vanco, let me know. Let Gary know. If you're not, let Gary know. Again, we want to take this wherever you guys want to take it. Uh, I'm just here as your guide to Vanco. Uh, a little background about myself. I've been with Vanco. It'll be uh, believe it or not, eight years on my end uh, this fall, so I can't believe it's uh, it's been that long. Uh, just got just give you guys perspective on my end. Uh, before this, I was a technical trainer for a software company for uh, for the auto industry, so I had nothing to do with AV before this. Believe it or not, uh, I took the job with Vanco. Year year and a half later, I was doing an accredited class for HDMI for Vanco. So there you go. So if you guys are also coming in new to the to the to the industry to the AV industry. You can learn it. It's fast moving. It is, but it's great to learn. It's not that difficult. That's why Gary and I are here to help you guys out. So with that, let's get started. So again, please utilize that Q&A. Uh, we want to, we, we want to answer your questions. So please utilize that. I, I told Gary, I hate talking the entire time. So please ask those questions and, and we can answer them. But really quick about Vanco. We, we were born in 1957 in Illinois where we reside today. Uh, originally a provider of mobile and CB accessories, and I can happily say that we are no longer into mobile and CB accessories. Uh, about 20 years ago, we decided to turn the ship around and start really focusing on HDMI. Uh, in fact, not a lot of people know about this, we were actually one of the first manufacturers after Monster uh, to start producing the HDMI cable, okay? Uh, and with that, we've kind of graduated uh, with HDMI to HDMI distribution products like your splitters, switchers, matrix units, HDMI over IP, so on and so forth. Um, and Vanco is actually short for a van company. We used to sell products right out of a van, going from dealer to dealer, distributor to distributor. We no longer do that. Uh, we are headquartered out of Batavia, Illinois, about 30, 35 miles west of Chicago, and that is a picture of our warehouse. We're, we're still open today. Obviously, the office staff is working remotely, including myself but our warehouse is fully operational and we are shipping out. Our company strategy, we want to be a single source, one-stop shop for AV with all four of our brands. Uh, many people don't know this, but Vanco has four brands, including Vanco, Evolution, Pulse Audio, and Beale Street Audio, which we will overview today. My goal with this session is to do a very high level overview, a general overview of our four brands. But again, if you guys want to go in depth in a certain brand or a certain product category, let us know. Uh, with that, we continue to develop cutting edge technology based on products and new ideas. We've got a great person out of upstate New York named Brandon White. He actually used to work with one of our partners, Wirestorm, and he is our director of new product development, and he has really brought on some cutting edge technology, including HDMI over IP and some great audio products. Uh, one thing about us, we are very customer centric and easy to deal with. Uh, when I started off here eight years ago, we were a small company. We are a much larger company, but we still have the mindset of a smaller company. We will certainly help you guys out. Obviously our distributors out like Gary, uh, again, very easy to work with. Last thing on here. Uh, we provide quality and proven products insured by QC products. Uh, I will cover in a couple slides what we do with our QC process. Uh, we're one of the few manufacturers who actually test our products twice. More on that a little later. Who, would, who do we sell to? Distribution only. Uh, obviously, Snap AV is a great partner of ours, obviously with Volutone, uh, All Net uh, on uh, the Midwest near us, uh, a couple of other uh, distributors like MRI. Uh, again, a lot of the uh, distributors nationwide that we serve. Uh, with four distinct brands, uh, we serve distributors who deal with AV, security, electrical, datacom, DLD, GLD, and obviously dealers like yourselves. We get a lot of dealers who are security-based and starting to get into AV. And again, I can help you out with that because I, I do an HDMI 101 class where I can bring you through the basics of HDMI and teach you about that. So again, let me know. Uh, at the end of this presentation, I will have my contact information up. 
so that you guys can uh, uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, personally and we can do a one-on-one -on -one session with you, with you or your staff. Uh, we also serve residential and commercial. Uh, eight years ago uh, with Vanco, we were probably 90% residential, 10% commercial. Uh, today, we're about 60-40. Our goal is to be about 50-50 so that we serve both residential and commercial. Uh, again, if you're a residential guy, great. Commercial guy, great. If you've got trying to get into the, uh, the opposite end, we can help you out with that. In terms of where we serve, obviously national, regional, North, North America, and we're be putting a big push on overseas, Central America, out in Europe as well. As I mentioned, our QC process, one thing that we do differently is we test our products twice. In Asia, we actually employ two American Vanco employees out in Asia, and they help us out with product development. But number two, making sure that every black box is tested. It doesn't matter if it's an amplifier, an HDMI splitter, HDMI extender. If it is powered, if it requires a power supply, if it's serialized, we test it. Now we take it a step further. Up top on this slide, you will see a picture of what's called our QC cage. We have seven testers up there, each with their own table. And as you can see, it is a mess and it's a mess for a reason. They have different displays, all sorts of different displays, Samsung, Sony, LG. We are partnered up uh, specifically with JVC, Yamaha, Vivo, Tentranet, and Luxel. We have all sources that you can imagine, all series of Apple TVs, Amazon Fire, Roku, so on and so forth, cable boxes, dish network boxes, AV receivers. Point being, we are trying to test our product and break it before it ships out to our distributors and ultimately ends up in your hands. Why? We understand, hey, it's electronics. Okay, stuff happens, shipping happens. We want to make sure that you're getting a product that has been tested twice. With that, uh, with our Evolution products, which is our Pro Series line of products, again, which we'll cover, it is a 10-year warranty, which is super aggressive. Uh, we'll cover the other warranty terms of the, all the other brands later, uh, but also with our cables, it's a lifetime warranty. doesn't matter if it's an HDMI cable, CAT cable, VGA cable. Heck, we even sell a Lightning cable for Apple iPhones. All of them employ a lifetime warranty. Last but not least here is our tech support team. Uh, I actually head up our tech support team, four great people, obviously all working remotely right now, but uh, great people to help you out, whether it's phone, email, website, chat. Uh, we can help you out of hours as well by request. We can do customized testing as well. So if you come to us and say, Frank, I want to do this crazy combination of matrix splitter, extenders, and splitters, will it work? Uh, I can't promise we can match up exactly on the sources and displays, but we can certainly match up on the Vanco products and let you know if it works or not. So with our, our Vanco brands, what do we have? Vanco, which is our, uh, this is our normal original line of connectivity. So here you'll find HDMI cables, all sorts of AV cables. Uh, we do have some networking in there. We'll cover that in a bit. Evolution is our pro series line of HDMI active distribution product. Uh, formerly, we were partnered with a company called Wirestorm that the relationship ended and we created Evolution for larger matrix units, HD base T matrix units, and then HDMI over IP. Again, more on that a little bit later. A couple years ago, we decided to get into audio because, again, we wanted to round out our line with video and include audio as well. So we created a line called Pulse Audio, which was our line, or which is our line of audio solutions. And quite frankly, these uh, solutions uh, are ideas that come from you guys, our integrators. So we've gotten feedback and, and said, hey, Frank, it'd be cool if you had this type of Bluetooth product or this audio extender with this connection. Uh, well, again, we're a small enough company to say, okay, let, let's take a look at that. Makes sense. Great. We'll push one out. Six months later, we have a new product. Okay. Now, our intention with that line was to grow that line into speakers. And obviously with speakers, uh, there are many manufacturers out there and quite frankly, the market's saturated with that. So we decided against going with producing a speaker with Pulse Audio line. However, in 2017, uh, Beale Street Audio with a patented technology came out and basically it was uh, an opportunity for us to acquire um, and now we have speakers. So we'll go through, through that in a bit. So next slide here again, uh, overview in the Vanco brand. Again, all sorts of audio video cables, 
HDMI, VGA, all sorts of audio cables, CAT5, e, CAT6 uh, patch cables, as you can see on the right-hand side there. Uh, we do have some simple HDMI active distribution products. So we do have some simple extenders, splitters, switchers, matrix units. However, the bigger stuff is going to be in, in our evolution line. We do have all sorts of IR distribution products. People say IR is dying. Uh, we believe otherwise because based upon our sales, IR products keep on selling. So we certainly do have some IR products to help you hide all your sources in a rack and we can still control them, whether it's uh, by CAT 5 e CAT 6 or whether it's wireless. We have all sorts of converters, connectors, adapters, including HDMI, audio, networking, keystone wall plates, keystone inserts we have. Uh, networking solutions, um, datacom wall plates, as you can see there with that brushed uh, wall plate. We have all sorts of wall plates. Uh, again, that's not our specialty. It's not what we focus on, but we do provide it, uh, again, with Vanco, uh, whatever you need in terms of AV, whether it's a wall plate, whether it's a large HD-based heat matrix unit, we've got it. Okay, that's, that's our point being with this. Uh, we also carry display mounts, uh, flat panel wall mounts, uh, fixed, tilt, articulating, and a series of UL and non-UL as well. So HDMI cables, that is our bread and butter. What is the difference? Okay, so if you take our cable, obviously you can look the same. We can pretty it up with the, uh, with the connector itself. Um, some people do braiding on the actual cable itself. We don't do that. But what really matters is the guts of the cable, right? So if you get an HDMI cable from the cable box company, um, I would certainly invite you guys to cut open that cable, find out what's behind that connector. Uh, more, more likely than not, you will not find the quality that we provide. So what we do is we individually wrap and insulate every wire within that cable. On top of that, we do a gel molding, which most people do. However, we take that a step further. What's not pictured here is we do 100% copper foil coverage uh, surrounding that connector. That helps out with any interference. Now, residential, where you're just cooking up a cable box to a TV, not a big problem. However, if you're dealing with a matrix unit, an AV receiver, a commercial job, high-end residential, where you've got all these connectors plugged in next to each other, you can and will get interference. And that interference will look like sparkling snow, or I've seen it where it starts blinking, uh, where the interference is bad enough. To take that a step further, we do a metal casing around the connector, as you can see on the right-hand side there, that is to reinforce that connector. The HDMI connector is not the best design. In fact, you can take your old, your any HDMI cable that doesn't have a metal case, you start bending that with your thumb, it will give. So again, in a nutshell, we cover our cables from tip to tip. Uh, with our cables, I'm not going to go through each and every cable series because we would quite honestly be here the entire day, uh, but we have an HDMI cable for every application. Okay, it doesn't matter if you need 4K, we even have 8K, believe it or not. If you have 1080p, we still have 1080p cables. We have fiber cables that go up to 330 feet. We have active and passive cables, depending on what your need, in, need is in terms of resolution. We have thinner gauge cables, we have long length cables, and again, all these cables employ a lifetime warranty. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is our premium HDMI cable certification program. So this is a partnership with HDMI. What that entails is that orange uh, label on the right-hand side. You can actually download HDMI's app. You can scan it, and it'll tell you, hey, this is a certified cable by Vanco. It is this certain footage long. But more importantly, what it does is it guarantees full 4K. So what you're getting out of this cable is 4K, 60 frames, 444 and high dynamic range HDR, which is important to some people. Now we carry this line up to eight feet on a slimmer gauge cable, up to 30 feet on a thicker gauge cable. So HDMI will only allow certification up to 30 feet. We certainly have cables that can go and extend further than that, but it will not be certified, but we can certainly pull it off with an active chipset or even fiber. All right, let's switch gears to Evolution. So again, Evolution is our Pro Series line that we released about five or six years ago now, okay? Uh, we wanted this to be the professional line series. 
uh, with a 10-year warranty, by the way. And our focus on this at the time was really on 4K. Obviously, that's going to switch gears to 8K as we're starting to get into that resolution, um, obviously this year and later on into this year. Um, but with the drivers that we have for our larger matrix units, we also have AMX, Crestron, Control 4, RTI, Elan, and URC drivers. If you don't have a fancy driver, our matrix units still feature IP control, so you plug it into your network, gives it an IP address, and you can still control our matrix units via IP. E did throughout every product. I will tell you about five or six years ago, HDMI probably wasn't a very reliable transmission, especially when you're distributing it, splitting it, switching it. Uh, the, the HDMI technology has gotten very reliable today. I can honestly say that, especially with technologies like HD Base T to help us out with that. Now, you still will come across some issues, uh, but more likely than not, it is very reliable transmission technology. But obviously, that's based upon what kind of product you're using. With our products, we feature EDID throughout every product with the Evolution brand, whether it's a dip switch, rotary dial, whether it's RS-232, or a user interface uh, with an app that you can actually adjust EDID through. But again, it's gotten to the point where it's very reliable, even in an automatic mode. Last but not least here, again, I mentioned uh, residential and commercial. Uh, we're making a big push with commercial with the Evolution line, so we will offer, we, I'm sorry, we do offer currently video wall and multi-view products. So if you're doing video walls, which you're seeing everywhere, we do have some products for you. We have some video wall processors, and our HDMI over IP system actually uh, serves up to a 25 display video wall, any configuration. So our HDMI switchers, and again, if I'm going into sort of a, a 101 on HDMI active distribution products, that's what I'm going to go through. If you guys have feedback, please let me know that say, hey, I know about this stuff. We can move on. So just let me know or let Gary know through the, uh, the Q&A. But HDMI switchers, um, you know, what is an HDMI switcher? An HDMI switcher gives you multiple inputs to one single output. And again, we're not going to cover each and every switcher that we have with an evolution line because it would take us quite a while because of how many SKUs we have. Uh, but we do offer simple HDMI to HDMI switchers, so HDMI in, HDMI out. Uh, we do have some multi-format switchers, which you're seeing down below here. This is great for a conference room. In fact, we use this in our own conference room. This is a great piece because you can set it in a conference room, no matter what kind of presenter comes in, whether they have a new laptop with HDMI, whether they have an older laptop with VGA, they can plug right in, and obviously they can switch uh, from presenter to presenter, it'll output to HDMI to one single display. Yeah, as you can see on the right hand side, you do have some options for audio. Uh, but very important piece here is that VJ, it will upscale and convert to HDMI for you. Okay. We also have some tiling and multi view options on the right hand side. This is another four by one switcher. Now this acts like any other switcher where you can switch from one source to the next, but we like to call this the man cave in the box. Why? because you can plug in four cable boxes or four media streamers. And if it was March Madness, and obviously March Madness is not going on right now, but if it was, you can watch four games at once on a quadrant view or a one main screen with three smaller tiles. It's sort of like a picture in picture. And obviously with our switchers, we offer up full 4K with HDR options as well. HDMI splitters. Now this is taking one single source and all we're doing here is we are duplicating that signal to multiple displays. Splitters are everywhere. Okay. In a commercial standpoint, you walk into your Sam's club, your Costco, whatever you have after the greeter, what do you see? You see a bunch of TVs, right? 30 or 40 TVs and they're all showing the same thing. And typically it's a cartoon because they look the best, but they're taking that one Blu-ray player and they're splitting it off to multiple displays. You'll see that Best Buy, you'll see that Walmart, you'll see that Target, right? Uh, on a residential standpoint, I personally use one. Why? Because I have a TV in the garage and personally, I don't want to pay the cable box company another 10 or 20 bucks a month just for another cable box. So I split that cable box from my basement into my garage because I'm not in both places at once. So again, there are multiple uh, uses for an HDMI splitter. You can also stack these. So if you wanted to light up 40 TVs, and you only have a seven-way splitter, just take two or three or four more splitters and start stacking them. Uh, with 1080p, you can stack seven splitters together, 4K, five splitters together. And again, many different options here. The lower right-hand corner is a simple one by two, HDMI in, HDMI out. 
The left hand side there, that is actually a splitter with HDMI extenders built right in. So if you've got three TVs that are more than 100 feet away, this will certainly do it because you can plug in your single source. And then you can run CAT5 or CAT6 to each display location. Uh, receivers are sold separately, but that receiver takes that CAT5 or CAT6 connection and basically turns it back into HDMI for you with IR control as well. And again, you can start stacking these splitters if you've got more TVs. There is an HDMI loop out where you can connect a local display or again, daisy chain and another splitter to it. And again, we do have a video wall processor available where you can do up to a 12 display video wall with our video wall processor if you stack them. Uh, again, with HDMI over IP, we can do 25 displays. All right, HDMI extenders, probably our best selling segment within our HDMI uh, active distribution line. Okay, HDMI extenders, uh, the limitation, why would you need an HDMI extender? The limitation of HDMI is length. Okay, again, we already covered it with 4K. It's going to be 30 feet. Now, again, we can get you further, but that's with an active cable or a fiber cable. Uh, 1080p, roughly about 60 to 70 feet is the longest that you can go with your standard HDMI copper cable. Okay, if you want to go above and beyond that, we can utilize CAT 5E and CAT 6. And I have an option where you can go 492 feet over a single CAT 6 cable 1080p. 330 feet uh, 4K. So again, many different options here. Uh, what we're showing you on this slide here is our best-selling model right in the middle. It's our EVEX 2006. It extends 1080p, 164 feet, has bi-directional IR, so you can still control that Blu-ray player even though it's 164 feet away. It also offers uh, bi-directional PoE. You'll find power ports on both units. We only include one power supply in the box. So that way you're only powering it one side. That way behind the TV, you just slap the receiver behind it, hook up your CAT6 cable, HDMI, and you are done. That's it. Okay. Now, because of the success of this 2006 extender, it's kind of spawned different versions of it. So on the right-hand side, we've got a wall plate version, and you can actually do an a la carte where if you want to do a wall plate version on the TV side and regular quote-unquote bail-in style at the head end, you can do that. Right. Uh, we also have VGA options. And then down below, um, for your security guys, we have a KVM version. So instead of IR, you'll have USB ports. So that way you can plug in a wireless keyboard and mouse and control that security NVR, even though, again, it's 164 feet away. Great for computers as well, NAS systems, so on and so forth. Uh, again, this was an idea that came from an integrator who said, hey, I love your 2006 extender. I don't need the IR. I'm not hooking up a cable box or a Blu-ray player. I'm hooking up an NVR, which I need to control via mouse. What do you have? So we said, you know what? Let's uh, let's re let's design something with uh, with USB instead. So again, many different options, including HD base T. We're not going to go through each and every one of our extenders, but again, just want to give you guys an overview of our HDMI extenders. All right, so last but not least in the evolution line, our HDMI over IP system. We've had this uh, out for about a couple of years. And again, for you guys who are just getting into HDMI active distribution products, this is a great technology. Why? Because your matrix units are limited to the number of inputs or outputs it has. I will give you guys an example. Uh, I am sitting right next to my four by four matrix unit in my basement, which serves my whole house. Now, I've maxed out the number of displays on it, the number of sources on it. If I wanted to add a fifth TV or a fifth source, guess what? I've got to, I've got to replace my entire matrix unit with a larger matrix unit, whether it's a 6x6 six six or an 8x8. Eight eight. HDMI over IP, the beauty of this technology is you're not using a matrix unit. You're using an Ethernet network switch. Now, the great thing about that network switch is the ports on it, it can be an input or an output. So if you've got a 16 or a 20 port ethernet switch, uh, obviously you gotta take one away, but basically you can make your own matrix unit. You can make a 10 by 14 if you wanted to. You can make a five by five, a four by three, okay? So it doesn't matter. Now, if you run out of ports, just like networking, you can daisy chain or stack another ethernet switch. So it can grow as your application grows. So if you're installing this into a house and the guy says, hey, I want to do my basement later, not a problem. We can keep on adding displays and sources to it. Now, technically, there is no limitation uh, because the limitation of the sources and displays, about a thousand sources and a thousand displays. 
Okay, so there's a lot of room there for growth. Um, so with that, the other big deal here is it includes an easy to use user interface. Uh, we do have an app available on iOS or Android. Again, we're not gonna deep dive into this product today. However, if you guys are interested, we can do a one-on-one -on -one webinar with you if you guys are interested in our HDMI over IP solution. Uh, the other big thing here, uh, I've been training on this technology for about two years now, okay? And what I'm noticing is the AV integrators, they are not charging recurring monthly revenue like the security guys are and like the networking guys are, okay? Uh, why? Well, the place of business, well, you, have, you need your internet, you need your security, so people are paying monthly uh, for that. But AV is also very important, especially if you've got a restaurant or bar where you've got all these displays and you need them up. Uh, so you have them up, that's business, right? So this tool, this solution also gives you the opportunity for monitoring because we give you the option of setting yourself up to receive notifications via email or text. Anytime there's an issue with this system, you will know before your end user knows. So that way you can start charging, uh, again, a monthly fee for monitoring. Uh, virtually plug and play. Uh, again, all you're doing here is plugging in the CAT6 HDMI to the display or source because all the receivers and transmitters are PoE as long as you're using a PoE switch. And again, we can use this for commercial applications as well. As I mentioned, we can serve up to a 25 display video wall, any configuration. It doesn't have to be a five by five. It can be a one by 25 or a 25 by one if you wanted to uh, line up a TV is all around a room if you wanted to in a ring, okay, like a stadium, for instance. Uh, digital signage solution in terms of what we can do, we can overlay uh, text, we can overlay images, logos right on top of the screen. Uh, we've done health fitness clubs, uh, Boston Pizza locations in the Midwest. Uh, we, we've done Petco Park out west uh, where the San Diego Padres play, okay, and again, you can certainly utilize this for any commercial application. In fact, it's perfect for it. All right, let's switch gears here uh, to Beale Street Audio. Uh, Gary, I'm not taking a look. I know you'll interject, but any questions at all? Um, not so okay? far, and, and guys, um, please please chime in. I do see a, a few Volutone uh, dealers here already, so good, that's, that's a good thing. One thing to re uh, that I'd like to actually throw out that I, I don't know entirely is Beale, we don't carry. I know, I'm not okay. sure about uh, the East Coast portion of that, Frank, you might not, you might know more about that, but let's, uh, I know for sure I'm not carrying that line. So, uh, um, okay. uh, we could briefly get through it talk a little bit about okay. it. Okay. Stay more concerned about, uh, practical application, uh, and, and start inviting questions. Sounds good. I, I will kind of breeze through this. Uh, I believe some of the East coast snap AV, um, distributors carry those lines. Okay, um, however, Beale Street, yep, Beale Street Audio is a line that we uh, acquired back in 2017 because it's a totally different type of speaker. It's a patented technology called Sonic Vortex. Uh, really quick, how it differs, it's got six ports, as you can see, uh, out of the face of that speaker. Those six ports are actually coiled around the speaker cabinet, okay? Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not an audio guy, I'm a video guy. Uh, we have an audio director to help us out with this line, obviously. Uh, but from my understanding, a longer port, more bass, okay? So we can provide more bass than any other architectural speaker out there, okay? Uh, so again, that is, that is probably the main benefit of this. Uh, the other benefit, uh, the sound dispersion, that last bullet point below, because we have six ports and they're coiled around, it's rapid airflow, we have 160 degree sound dispersion. What does that mean? That means we can we can utilize less speakers than any other uh, architectural speaker out there. So if you need 10 regular architectural speakers, you may need six Sonic Vortex speakers. To give you guys a quick example, we have these Sonic Vortex speakers installed into the Orlando Convention Center in their main hall. And obviously if you guys have been to any convention center, the main hall is huge, right? We only have eight Sonic Vortex speakers serving that entire hall, okay? Um, the other benefit of this uh, line is uh, the sound resonance. Because it has basically a back box built in, it cuts down the sound resonance to neighboring rooms by seven decibels, okay? Uh, we have a bunch of applications, uh, residential, commercial, um, home theater type setups. Uh, 
Uh, so again, for more information, visit our website. So again, I'm going to kind of breeze through through this. Um, this is a unique option where it's an in-ceiling subwoofer. Uh, so if you, if you don't want uh, an in-room ceiling subwoofer, I'm sorry, an in-room subwoofer in the corner, you can actually place it into the, uh, the ceiling. Again, commercial speakers, uh, we do have available in, in four SKUs. We do have amplifiers available, some two-channel options, multi-zone options with, uh, with IP uh, user interface available. And then wrapping up is Pulse Audio. So again, Pulse Audio is our line of audio solutions. And I mentioned this in the, in the beginning of the uh, presentation. Honestly, these are all ideas that came from our distributors and you guys are dealers, okay? Um, so we have all sorts of wireless connectivity, including Bluetooth, Wi-Fi streaming. In fact, this unit on the right-hand side, that is a Bluetooth transmitter or receiver, one unit. You got an old iPod that doesn't have Bluetooth, you want to send that to your new AV receiver or new amplifier that has Bluetooth, great, set it as a transmit, okay? Uh, on the flip side of that, you got your brand new iPhone or Android device, you want to take that to an older amplifier which doesn't have Bluetooth, great, set this to receive, now you have Bluetooth, okay? Uh, the Wi-Fi streamer, upper right-hand corner, that is our PA stream, that has been a hit. Uh, think of that as basically Sonos, uh, without the amplifier, without the speakers, you can pick those by yourself. We do have some Pulse Audio two-channel amplifiers. Pick your own speakers. So again, it's basically Sonos without the amp, without the speakers, and honestly, without the price. Okay, I think dealer is going to be, uh, I think, way less than $100 on that unit. And what's nice about that is you can pair them up. Um, I actually have two of these, and you can do a, a party mode where you can join up the audio in two different zones, or actually more than two zones. Um, I think we've had people do up to eight zones out there using those pieces. Again, as I mentioned, we have simple two-channel amplifiers within this line. Uh, we do have a distributed audio amplifier. This is our PA66 six-zone amp. Um, you know, receive uh, you know feedback from the industry that hey, these amps are kind of going away. You know, for us, we've actually sold quite a few, uh, whether it's commercial, residential. Uh, we're still seeing the audio distribution amps uh, start to sell. So we do have that. Last but not least, our lifestyle indoor-outdoor speaker. This is our PA360. It's about three feet high. Uh, it has four drivers surrounding it, so it's 360 degrees of sound, and it's got a down-firing subwoofer. It's got wheels. It's got a handle. It is uh, weather-resistant. So you can take this out to a tailgate party, a pool party, anywhere you want to go. Uh, you can take it. Got great sound. Uh, we put one in our warehouse, and I don't know the square footage of our warehouse, but it's it's pretty large, and it fills up the entire space with that unit. So again, that's Pulse Audio in a nutshell. Again, not deep diving into it, but again, it's our line of audio solutions. Uh, there's more stuff. We've got audio extenders, converters, uh, DACs. Uh, so, again, if you guys want more information about this line for any type of audio solution, please let me know. Uh, warranty terms really quick. Um, as I mentioned, um, Evolution has a 10-year warranty. All of our cables is a lifetime warranty. Uh, the, the audio products is going to be two years, and then the Vanco is going to be two years as well. So with that, um, I'm wrapping up here. My information on the right-hand side, that is me, Frank Santos. Again, I'm the Director of Training Product Knowledge here at Vanco. Um, please feel free to shoot me an email, give me a call, shoot me a text even. More than happy to help you out with any Vanco needs that you have, whether it's on the video side or the audio side. Again, we want to be that one-stop shop for you as the integrators whether you're on the audio side, whether on your video side, residential, commercial, uh, we like to think we have a product for you. So with that, I will turn it back over to, to Gary if there's any questions at all. Great product overview, overview Frank. Thank you so much, guys. Um, so out there, um, anything in the field that you guys would like to discuss, let's take some opportunity to, uh, to do some Q&A. Uh, anybody out there got anything for uh, Frank? Any, any hurdles that you're going through? Um, especially in terms of uh, distribution. I'd like to, I'm interested in the panel here, um, who's doing commercial? And um, are you uh, entering into that world uh, not knowing exactly what to offer or, or capabilities? Are you being offered uh, video walls, that kind of thing? Um, now's the time. But I'll tell you, Frank. Uh, you want... Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. 
that side of things is, is really what um, is, is a big push for us as well. And, and you've helped us get there, you know, ever since the um, advent of, of HD, our, uh, HDBST. And um, we used to carry Wirestorm, but, but at that particular time, we were getting, you know, the guys that were going to go down that direction started to, started asking the questions, started breaking things, started figuring it out for themselves. And, and now we're seeing a great resurgence on that. The other thing I'd like to mention where you kind of passed over was the RMR conversation and, and how difficult sometimes that can be. You and I both, Frank, you know, we feel like, God, you, 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 you kind of uh, alluded to the fact that the security guys kind of have that down, but our AV guys still don't. That's another thing that if you guys have any questions on that and how to kind of approach that, how to set your, your uh, standards, your, your, uh, your, your equation of what your time is worth and on a monthly basis and how to, how to work that out. You know, that's not, that's the conversations that the guys at Volute Tone have a lot with our dealers as well. Anything on that, Frank? Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, again, the reason I brought that up is, is I was very surprised. Obviously, you know, RMR was new to us when we started releasing this product, but it makes total sense, right? Because you have a system that needs to be up and running, quite frankly, 24-7, right? Especially in, in bars and restaurants where you need your TV is up and running. Uh, so for us, it was, okay, let's, let's take a look at this and let's talk to our integrators and find out more about it. And what I found by just talking to different integrators was, was the unknown. It's like, hey, I don't know much about RMR. I'm an AV guy. I don't know how to approach that. Uh, and so, you know what? I started talking to the security integrators and they said, well, don't be afraid. You got to have a system where you charge a monthly fee of $50, of $100 a month, whatever it is, whatever you are providing uh, as a service uh, to monitor this system to make sure it's up and running obviously have a contract ready. Uh, but main point here is don't be afraid to approach your end user and say, hey, you know, for 50 bucks a month, I will monitor your AV, make sure it's up and running, and I will guarantee any issues will be fixed in a short time. Yeah, I've heard um, just as basic as setting, I've heard this, this term before, which is called a sliding scale, which is offering different formats of service. That's, that's also difficult because you know, what would what would two hundred and fifty dollars a month provide? You know, and then especially when you talked about um, the back end of of seeing your product uh, either recycle it. You know, the ability of that is is another feature that can be you know uh, equated to a service uh, amount so that you're not running a truck. Tell me a little bit about um, you know big part of of well, obviously Volutone and the Snap AV team is um, oversee and having to see. You know, having an, a a watt box on a on a on a job, how does this work together? Do you see that? Uh, and, and even uh, how is the visibility with Vanco product through a product like Oversee? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be quite honest with you. I'm not uh, too familiar with Oversee. Um, yeah, it's probably a question more for Brandon White, our product development director, because he is taking a look of integrating with different companies in terms of our system. Uh, obviously, he's in charge of integrating with uh, the third-party drivers uh, for control, uh, but also, yes, uh, also, uh, uh, you know, monitoring as well, uh, well and integrating you, there. With a product like, uh, well, Oversee is basically their networking standard, but below that, uh, the watt box is where guys are able to power cycle, and that's a basic, you know, procedure, and then that your product would fall in after that. It would be cycled, the power you would know, be turned back on and off. And uh, obviously, you know, get updated through through that source. But guys, anybody have any experience in that? Please let us know if you had any questions for Frank regarding that. Great. So I under yeah. Uh, what, 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 I'm sorry. One thing to add to that, uh, Gary, you make a good point with with overseas. So there is a, an option with our HDMI over IP uh, to automatically reboot whenever there's an issue. Uh, so there there's certainly an option for that. Um, it's not on at default, but it basically says, hey, if uh, this receiver, if it goes down, automatically power cycle it. And it will still notify you via email and via text anyway. That way you can log in remotely and say, okay, well, this receiver, it's back up or it's not. I need to get back, uh, you know, I need to get to, to, the, to the site to, to service it. Uh, hey. So it really provides you uh, the opportunity to monitor remotely and figure out if you need to roll a truck or not. Talk, talk to us really quickly. I don't think I saw a slide on it, but get, get, what does that menu look like? What is what is the video menu look like when you're setting it up and you're putting in your particulars for it to communicate back to you? 
Um, yeah, I'll tell you what. If you can give me a moment here, I can actually probably pull up a live demo of it. Give me a second here. Thanks for hanging with us, guys. Um, I did unmute you guys. I'm not sure if you guys could. I see it on my end that I, that you are unmuted, like Andrew, Brad, Chris, Michael, uh, said, and Thomas, if you guys want to chime in at all, I think I might be able to hear your audio. Maybe not. I see I see some red red microphones, so I'm not sure. Okay, give me one second, gentlemen. And of course, guys, through the chat box or the Q&A, hit us with any particulars you guys would like us to discuss. Okay, so if you are taking a look at my screen still, uh, this is the user interface for uh, our Evo IP system. Now, it's the system I'm using at home for testing, so it's not 100% up, but what I want to show you guys was the event tab. Now, the event tab actually allows you in here to enter in your cell phone number, uh, your email address. That way, for instance, this first line right here, this transmitter, let's say this, this PC is really important to me. If hey, this Frank, transmitter ever go, yep. I only see end Q&A on our screens. Oh, okay. Uh, Try sharing that again because I'm not seeing that image. Let me stop share. And let me share again. Give me a second. It might be sharing the specific uh, PowerPoint application. Let me do screen instead. Yeah, I think I found it. Okay, how's that? There you go. I see event. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Again, this, I'm sorry about that guys. This is our user interface. And again, it's, it's a system that's, I have hooked up right next to me for troubleshooting. So it's not 100% up. However, this is the event tab. So that, again, this allows you to, to punch in your email address, your cell phone number, and basically you can create an event. And I've created one event that says, Hey, for this transmitter, which I have my PC hooked up to me, this is very important to me. So if video is lost, what I want you to do is number one, I want you to reboot, okay? Number two, I want you to send an email to me as well as send a text to me as well. So that way I'm covering on both bases. So if I'm an integrator, I'm getting a text, I'm getting an email, I'm saying, okay, there is an issue with this one specific job, let's log in. Now, if I click on setup, you will find a bunch of uh, units that are up and down. Actually looks like I have one down because I'm troubleshooting that, uh, but green means good. So I can log in here and say, okay, uh, my cable box is good. My Blu-ray player is good. My bar TV is good. Uh, looks like the bar two TV is down and it's gray. So I need to check that out. I need to roll a truck. Okay. So again, this gives you awesome insight. Uh, and in your PJs at home, you can log in and find out what's going on with this system. Uh, the other tabs, left-hand side, just quickly show you guys this. Uh, the matrix tab, this is an awesome tab because it is geared towards the end user. Now, half the battle is teaching your end user how to use the system. Now, what you are seeing are, are generic pictures. However, we can set this up to show actual screenshots of what each source is spitting out and the screenshot of what each TV is actually displaying. Now, to switch sources, so let's say I wanted to send that Blu-ray player to each of the bar TVs, all you've got to do is click, drag, and drop to each of the TVs. And now you're seeing that change. Again, if you were seeing the screenshot, uh, that screenshot would update. However, I really don't have any sources actually plugged up to the system because it's a test system. Okay. Um, video wall is another big deal. Uh, you're, you're starting to see video walls everywhere. And people are calling us left and right and saying, hey, you know what? I'm new to this video wall thing. I've been asked about it. How do I pull, how do I pull one off? Well, with our Evo IP uh, system, it is fairly simple to do. So I'm gonna click on the left-hand side here, this video wall tab. And you have up to eight presets. So let's create one. And I'm gonna click on edit on this new preset and we can name it with whatever we want. But more importantly, we can choose the layout. So let's say you've been tasked to do a three by three uh, video wall. So you can hit update and it'll actually show you three displays. And the easiest way of setting this up is simply clicking and dragging your source into each and every display. Now, 
I can take that cable box and I can drop into all nine TVs, or we can make this super flexible by on a two by two within your nine by nine right here. And then if I had enough sources, I can fill up the rest of the displays with different sources. So again, think bar type application. Uh, we actually specifically did this uh, for a health club fitness center in Houston, Texas, where they had a, a three by three. They wanted the, uh, the two by two on the upper left hand corner with uh, obviously the different TV surrounding it with different sources being displayed on them. So pretty cool what you can do with this. Uh, and again, we can do up to a 25 display video wall, any configuration. So if I punch in five by five, now that gives you really more options, right? And if we had enough sources, I can do a three by three here. I can do two by two here and I can fill out the rest with different sources. Again, think uh, sports bar. Okay. Very cool. Yep. Um, and what I mentioned half the battle is, is training your end user how to use the system. Uh, you, you do have to do some training, but we can certainly automate the system to do certain functions such as switching. So the schedule tab on the left, this left hand side there, if I click on this, you can see I've already set one up. And then basically that says, hey, for my bar two TV, send a certain source, which is this Blu-ray player. Monday through Friday at this specific time. It's a military time. So what is that? Uh, 3 p.m. or whatever that is. Okay. 317. So 317 every day, Monday through Friday, that bar two TV is going to automatically switch to that Blu-ray player. That way you set this up at a bar. Your bartender no longer has to fumble around with the remote. Thursday night football comes 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. your time out in the West Coast that all the TVs will automatically switch to Thursday night football. You can also do a one-time event like the Super Bowl. So the Super Bowl is coming up, you know, February of next year. You can actually automatically put that in. So that way, all the TVs go to that one cable box. It switches automatically. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, the other things that we can do is we can mute signals. We can resume signals. So great for closing time. Bar closes up at 2. At 1.45, we can start to mute the TVs, okay? Uh, and in turn... When the bar opens up, we can turn it on at that certain time. Uh, residential aspect, great for parental control, okay? Kids shouldn't be watching TV after 8 p.m. Uh, you can turn off the signal 8 p.m. every day if you wanted to. Is there volume control or is it just mute and not mute? Uh, just muting of the, the video signal. Okay. Yep, yeah. So it'll actually mute both video and audio. So. Cool. Um, there's, there's other stuff in here. Obviously, you know, we can deep dive into it, but there's OSD, which is on screen display. Uh, this is a section where you can actually upload a uh, logo. So we can do the snap AV logo, the volume tone logo, and we can actually choose to overlay it, uh, anywhere on the screen, uh, left hand corner, right hand corner, right in the middle of the screen. We can change up the transparency. Um, uh, again, this is a good way for commercial, um, applications. Uh, to start showing their own logo, but also charge for their screen space. We've, we've had applications do that where they've got surrounding businesses. Uh, they, want, they want to advertise at that business, and you can say, okay, well, you know, for this time period, you can rent out our screen space, space and we'll show your advertisement right on the screen. RMR. Yep, that's it. We're current monthly revenue. Absolutely. So. Well, thank you hey, for taking us. A bunch of yeah, yeah, thank you. There's a bunch very of things you can that. do with this. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate it again, everyone. Thank you for your time this morning or afternoon, wherever you're at. Uh, be safe, stay healthy, and again, let us know how we can help you out. Uh, again, Frank Santos here at Vanco, Frank S at Vanco1.com. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me for anything that you need, simple questions, or again, trainings, webinars that we can teach you uh, about our different products. Again, we've got a solution for you. So, Thank you very much, everyone. Appreciate it. Stay safe, stay safe and be healthy. There you go, guys. Thank you very much. Talk to you at four. Bye-bye.